What's up? Y'all, I'm up here at the shop. Kim just left. I'm stuck with the dog. She gets to ride home with me. She hates riding home in the van because she's too big for the front seat. And really, that's the only place I have to put her. Unless I empty out half my van. But she always acts so, like horrified that she has to ride in the van and she slooches over like oh my god this is such a pain in the butt and she looks she's just she's acting like she's asleep over there ignoring me but she's actually just ignoring me she's not asleep all i have to do is say her name and she'll jump up and come over here but i'm not going to do that because in this video what i am talking about is this guy boom it's <laughs> key <gasps> Mount Boxmore has just, look at this, look at that. You can actually walk right there. Customers interrupt on a video. Uh, I kind of knew this, but I haven't really paid much attention to it, but those, these come out. So I may actually, yeah, and by the way, this, you know, I just drug this out and like dusted it all. Right hey. Probably dull as hell. I hadn't actually cut a key on it. And the uh, J ass who 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 did this. I may have. I don't think it was me. They they had the the plug right shoved through this. Okay, so as you can see, the only real way to do that is to take this off. So I, to get it out, I had to remove all the guide and everything. So it's not going to be uh, accurate at all especially with the dull wheel, but in this particular instance, you know, it has, has this thing that goes over it, boop, you know, on each side, it spins around, it's got a nice ball bearing thing right there so that it spins and it's super high. It doesn't need to be that high, but like on top of it, there was, there was something else on top. And then I've got all these other ones that I think if I recall correctly, I went to a hardware, I went to do a rekey on a hardware store that had closed down and the owner of the building was like, Do you, if you want to take that, you can. And I was like, I don't really want it, but I'll take it. And uh, it's actually coming handy. There's actually a few keys. Look at all these Ford o OEM Ford keys. I don't think, yeah, I think they had a lawsuit and they couldn't put Ford on them anymore. But I've got tons. They look aluminum too, but they're actually nickel plated brass. Uh, but, you know, that's coming handy a few times. I've gone through some of these keys and it's just mostly old hardware store type keys that i already have tons of anyway so uh you know x51a2 how many aa2s do you need apparently you need a bunch because i've got those and uh x51s there's another full row of them somewhere up here up there i think that's it right there yep a51 boop right there there's a row right there and i think uh if i looked hard enough i probably have a box or two of them over there who needs that many aa2s nobody uh so yeah a lot of these should just really be scrapped because oh, no, there's no real point in trying to even ebay them nobody wants them more than likely old car keys now these will you know these could be rung up and taken off the rack but i'm really thinking about taking these racks because it's a thing with pegboard right no 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 oh, okay go back okay hold on need a mother hand to do that uh so the thing with pegboard right now i've talked about this up front is the the spacing like even with the short hooks see how far apart they're spaced and when you when you look at one of these they're you get more in a smaller area so you could actually it's better to do like i've done like i've done with this guy this is out of a uh a box of keys where you have the uh you know the pull up right in fact it's up there somewhere no wait where is it it's somewhere around here the actual box box is i don't know where it went it's here uh but like like here on, on that, all right? Of course, these two panels, those came out of a key box of four and you drop them down in the box. And uh, so yeah, that, that having a closer, closer lets you compact keys into a smaller area. Uh, and what I'm thinking about doing probably 
there's no real reason for me to have this big big obnoxious thing and i've always wanted to take this off right and mount it to a claw foot type mechanism like that so that it can just stand alone again though i don't really need need it so uh really i'll probably just take this off use this for like a beater stick in case you you know frank needs something and uh and then just individually take these and then hang them up maybe on the pegboard maybe i'll clear off an area here we zoom out this is horrible messy but it really hadn't mattered because i never really could get into this area anyway but mm, yeah that uh all this could be tended to which is kind of what i'm doing here now as i'm making my way that way to uh, get up there and cut that wire i've got almost everything focus almost everything dewired i'm just going to take this one out and uh, run that extension cord a little bit better so yes we do clean up mountain box more every so often and uh, a lot of this stuff also needs to go to uh, hazmat so this bucket might just i might just pop it open and let it dry or chisel it out i think it's probably already dry got a paint can there then over here is all the aerosol cans, boop, all the Houdini and disinfectant spray and stuff. All that goes to hazmat. And of course, the scrap metal section, the door closers, brass, aluminum, aluminum, scrap metal, scrap metal, stainless steel, scrap metal. Of course, that's going to get dumped into one of those two. Uh, oh, scrap metal. And couple of old fluorescent fixtures so once i get that out of here and this cleaned up a little bit more i don't i don't know i'm not sure what i'm going to do here i'm going to go ahead and uh probably tend to these the only problem is is i want to put some of these are like recent sales and i usually keep the boxes for three-ish months or so to the warranty you know i think it's like a year manufacturer warranty but it's good to keep a few different boxes of them uh, so I usually keep one or two of each color boxes so that way we know if we have to return something or something, whatever, you know, this one's pretty much out of date. I can go ahead and take that down. That was done about six months ago. It's working fine, but, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, uh, that's where we're at with Mount Boxmore and this key machine guy right here. So, uh, probably what I'm going to do is go ahead and and undo it. it ever since i've gotten it like you can see all the, uh, the caked on stuff there and i've never cleaned this i've never cared about it i just slid it out of the way and have been scalping keys off the racks but uh yeah i might go ahead and pull this cover and do a cleanup on this machine oh, esp eh, sure it'd be a decent machine just need a new wheel i mean dull as heck i don't know We'll get, uh, we'll get it cleaned up and then maybe cut a key on it, see what happens. Oh, did you decide to get up? Did you decide to wake up? You've been goofing off over there, huh? No, we still got an hour before we gotta go home. It's gonna be a little while, sweet girl. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. What you think, yes? She has been recorded. They don't point that thing at me. No, we're not. We're not going. You have to stay. Stay right here. Don't go out there. I said don't go out there. You stay right now. What the hell are you doing? No. See? All right. Got the pipe removed. It's an inch and a quarter pipe. So I'm going to go get one of those flanges and then bolt the flange to a piece of wood or something. But this, this goes over it. You can see they're just a little bit warped. In fact, they're so warped that they won't stay in the thing real well. Uh, once it goes 
behind one of those is kind of okay, but what I'll probably do just to preserve history is uh, just lay these out and flatten them by, by weighing them down with something heavy. Oh, I'm going to be sneezing back here for the next hour. Uh, and yeah, I think what I'm probably going to do is just go ahead and put these somewhere. I don't know where yet, but I'm just going to either temporarily hang them up on probably there or something. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Uh, yeah, time to get started on this guy though. <sighs> shifting everything to these. I've already done the old motorcycle and now I'm, I'm moving all the Alfa Romeo and, and Fiat keys to a even harder to reach section. So that's what I'm, that's what happens when I start cleaning and think to myself, hey, I should rearrange the keys that I never used to make them even harder to get to. And more than likely that means that I'll have a run of people coming in uh, needing, needing Fiat and MG and Lancia keys. Lancia? Lancia. I've never even seen a Lancia before. I've seen a couple of Fiats, but, uh, I don't know. 64 hooks takes out quite a bit of room up here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, though. It's a new morning. Let's see where we're at. Hey, ah, oh, look at that. Got this starting with Renault, 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 Renault. I don't know. Is it, is it T silent? Renault, Renault, Renault. Uh, and then this is Alfa Romeo through Lancia or MG? Probably MG. No, through Porsche. 
And then over there is what took up this whole section is now condensed down to half of it. That is old, old motorcycle. And as I was cross-referencing all these uh, numbers, most of them are Taylor keys. Uh, but there is a healthy mix of DL, Dominion Lock. And I have the books open to the corresponding pages right now. And as I was going through some of the numbering, oh my God, DL and Taylor numbers are just, and then Ilco numbers, everything about this has been, and this is why it stays like it is. I got to come through see these little tags really don't work great for these closer rows they work great for that but when you put these rows a little bit closer together you've got this interference and then when you add longer keys into the mix like these british leylands see how it totally blocks the number so ideally these would be all switched out with the drop down tags but as you can see some of them are actually out of that set. I remember buying that set and putting all these guys in. Yes, I did all of those and, and those over there. The, the, that whole set, which I might add is way outdated. Don't buy that set. They ha I don't even think they've updated it recently. Unless you have a F crap ton of old keys like this, don't buy the set. Because literally, you know, who has... British Leylands and Jaguars and stuff like that now, except for actual locksmith shops that are older. So, yes, I went ahead and switched out all those. And this has been 20 years ago. Um, and uh, like I mentioned, like it was so outdated that I ended up having to write in so many more. Honestly, it, it was kind of a waste of time. I don't know if it was a waste of time because some of them do look good with the actual letter, you know, the actual printed ones on there. Uh, because it also shows, you know, let's just take that MG for example, it also shows uh, easy numbers, uh, which we really don't pay attention to, and then it shows Curtis, Jet, and Briggs and Stratton, uh, and so a lot of that is outdated as well. Uh, some of it's handy, cross-reference, you know, UM10, Curtis, but it doesn't show DL numbering, so in this particular instance, it's not, you know, it's just, just not worth having those tags. But there's a DL key right there. Dominion lock, which has wildly different numbering than anything else. Dominion lock catalog. World key blank encyclopedia. Uh, oh, and I have this sitting up here. I forgot about those. That's my rubber head keys that I need to start making room for. I could go ahead and empty another rack, maybe, and at least cover up the seam and probably get in all the rest of these. But if you'll notice, a lot of these other ones have like way too many keys for these little racks. Plus, a lot of these are longer keys anyway. And like I said, the longer ones just don't really work all that well on it. What I am considering doing is ah <sighs> so a lot of these aren't used anymore like all these gms you know love trucks and stuff like that is this is azuku azuku what do you call it not asuzu but Az, azuku whatever uh what i'm thinking about doing is literally just making a section of common keys you know the gms the, the Toyotas, the Hyundais, uh, the more popular of the Nissans and the more popular of the Toyotas. And then, and then see, I've got all these, you know, these old, old, old Toyotas, very few, these would be considered classics now. And, and maybe moving those to their own area and just keeping the common keys out, what we sell the most of. I don't know if that's something I'm gonna do or not. Uh, because I've already started lining up the rows. I've got a gap. I've got some old GM keys up there. Uh, and then it starts with American Motors, Audi, BMW, Chrysler, so forth, so on. I'm moving it. Looks like I gained a little bit if I start moving everything up. It looks like I gained three or four inches. So that locks we lost this week won't hit the bottom row. Is that the only reason I'm doing all this on this wall? 
Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. But anyway, this morning, I'm, it's like 7 o'clock, just got here, and I'm going to start doing that again. And uh, it's one of the problems with doing crap like this, aside from the DL number fiasco, and uh, is it, it's like you got to... You just got to get done with it. You can't just leave that one half done. So anyway, that's what we're up to. And uh, here we go. Okay, that's where we're at now. Got, uh, I still got to work on the transponder. I didn't really leave myself, I meant to leave myself a little hole for transponder, but look, look at all that. Look at all that. Hey, yes, what's up? What's up, this? She's ready to go. It's late. She's out of here. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, locks we lost this week area. Ha! <laughs> but I got to, I gotta finish. I've got all my transponder shells and keys, the ones that we do do anyway, kind of all scattered. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them and my VATS keys down here. I really gotta find a solution for that since we don't use VATS as much anymore. So I gotta kind of come up with something for that. Maybe, I'm thinking maybe, maybe, maybe uh, come over here and attach a piece of pegboard and make it like flip open or something so that I can still get to that because I've got plenty of hinges that I could maybe rig something up on but I don't know look at this look at this she's like stop talking to your camera it's time to go home so anyway maybe tomorrow maybe this is the end of the video I don't know 